Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and I would like to go over a few problems with MRI. Now, overall, MRI is really, really safe. It provides incredible images. However, there are just a few things to know about because of that strong magnetic field that can cause problems. So, number one, any metal within that strong magnetic field can cause an artifact. So, if you have earrings or a nose ring or a belly button ring or a bra strap, or metal in your pockets that can cause an artifact that will show up on the MRI and degrade the image quality. And also people who have had replacements of their knee or hip or other surgeries, like fixing fractures where they have hardware in their body, that hardware, because it's metallic, can cause artifact. And sometimes it's not bad, and other times it's so bad we can't see anything at all. So on occasion we may scan a patient just to see how bad the artifact is gonna be. So metal artifact is one of the problems with MRI. It's really not a problem with x-ray or CT. So another problem with the MRI is the fact that it takes so long. Again, an x-ray or CT is a really quick procedure. You take it quickly, and they're out within a matter of uh, instance or just uh, several seconds. But an MRI scanner can take a long time, sometimes up to 45 minutes to be scanned, so you have to lay there for a long time. And any movement during that time can cause blurring of the images, so it's highly motion sensitive. And patients who are claustrophobic sometimes can have trouble getting in there. It's very loud and in a narrow tube, people with claustrophobia with that loud noise can have significant difficulties. Sometimes patients just are not comfortable in there. If they have a, a certain body habitus, they may not fit very comfortably in there or may not be able to get in at all. And so that can be trouble. Now MRI also is not cheap. Um, other things like ultrasound and x-ray are not too costly, but MRI is one of the more costly imaging modalities out there. Now, there can be absolute contraindications where you just cannot have an MRI, and one of those is a pacemaker. If you have a cardiac pacemaker, there's wires in there, and those can have a current induced in them. And also, if you have an aneurysm clip in the brain, that aneurysm clip can twist and cause bleeding. And there are several other devices within the body that can turn off if the magnetic field hits them. And other times they can cause a current to be induced that can cause burns or shocking inside the body. So um, there's a number of things that are in the body that we just cannot scan. And one of the other things is pregnancy. Now, uh, there's been no study to show that MRI is dangerous for pregnancy. However, just to be very, very safe during the first trimester, most institu institutions will not want to scan unless there's a real medical necessity. And the last thing is nephrogenic systemic fibrosis. So this is a disease condition caused by contrast. If you have contrast injected into the vein, people who have moderate to severe renal failure can have a reaction to that, and they react with this fibrotic response in the body. It can be really devastating. So people who have renal failure have to be evaluated to find out how severe it is, and if it is above a certain level of severity, then they should not have contrast. Now, they can still have an MRI, but it just has to be an MRI without contrast. And so to end here, I'd like to show you some images of motion. Earlier, we talked about how motion can be a problem. So this is a no motion image here of a knee. You can see this dark triangle is a meniscus. Here's another meniscus. See how clean everything is? This is motion. A little bit of motion, the patient was in severe pain, couldn't hold still, and you can see how just a little bit of motion can cause significant blurring of the images. This is another patient, same thing, a nice, uh, beautiful image on the left-hand side here. No motion, everything is clean. If we look on the other side, you can see things are very blurred. And the spinal cord, you can see how dark it is here. And here with the motion, the spinal cord is really gray and foggy. You really can't even see it. So motion can really severely limit um, the image quality. So those are the problems with MRI. Uh, thank you very much.